good morning. I, I was supposed to film something yesterday, but I got a bit distracted. Um, we did a lot of things yesterday. We started writing invites to people. Um, we went to meet Crystal's mum, and then we went and bought her some shoes and handbags for the wedding. Then I went and tried on a couple of suits in different places. I didn't realise I should have filmed all this. This is kind of critical bit information, but I was a bit preoccupied. And then we came back and we wrote more invites, bought a load of stamps, and now I'm going to post the first 24 invitations. We've had two RSVPs already because one of our guests is coming from a long way away. You know who you are. And so we had to email them. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. So we've come to Wisley to see some butterflies, which is why everything is butterfly tastic around here. They're in the glass house. But there's also a lot of people here, so let's see how crazy it is. See the crocuses are just starting to come out the top of the hill. Snowdrops down here. It's warm in here and there's a lot of butterflies. They just sort of drift past you. It's quite weird. Supposed to look like owls, which they kind of do. Mm. We escaped from the butterflies. Actually, some of the butterflies had escaped as well, and one of them decided he's going to lay a load of eggs on me, so I had to then dispose of the eggs onto a little plant. But it's very warm in there. So we've come outside to see what spring's doing. Right, we're just heading out to find the shop. Good afternoon. I've made the slightly strange decision to walk to Teddington for my meeting this evening despite the fact that it'll probably be dark by the time I get there and it looks like a reasonably good chance of rain so this may still be abandoned mid-attempt but I just needed to get out of the flat I've been sitting down too long today haven't done enough exercise so this is my solution it's getting gloomier it's not a good sign the air is wet but it's not quite raining I didn't bring a waterproof because it's too warm. These are the problems that I have to, you know, deal with day in, day out. <laughs> um, no, it's actually quite pleasant, all things considered. They've done a bit of a clear up here on Sheen Common. Um, yeah, on a nicer day, this would be stunning, but uh, as it is, I might do. This is the very definition of bleak. I mean, there's basically almost no one here in this massive park. It is windy and grey and the sun is going down. Oh, yay! Still windy, it's still dark. And I'm still walking through the park. Oh my god, I'm almost as good as Desiree. This is amazing. Um, anyway, my plan was to go buy a Hansel and Pretzel and pick myself up a bottle of arm doodler or something and then keep going. I mean, I'm usually quite good at judging time, but I think I'm going to be cutting this fine, if I'm honest. Well, that's not bad. It's only taken me about an hour to get to Ham. So, weather depending, I might make it after all. I'm now very warm, though. <laughs> Thing is, you can always walk somewhere, and it always takes less than your time than you think. 
And I, as I was saying to someone the other day, the trick is not to look at the map and go, oh my God, that's six miles, that's seven miles or whatever. It's to look at Google Maps and see how long it takes and see whether you're prepared to put in that much time. So six mile walk is about two hours at a sort of moderate pace. Are you prepared to walk for two hours? It's not that long really, if you're not in a rush. Says the man walking six miles in a rush. <laughs> But you get my point. You think, oh, I might as well get the bus there. If it's less than an hour's walk, really? I mean, by the time you've waited for the bus and then walked to the other end, are you sure? Like, what have you actually saved? Mission accomplished. Although I've still got to get there. And as you can see, the light is failing. Good morning. Day storm goes. I rather... About 15 minutes ago when I first tried to leave the house, Storm Doris hit me in the face very hard and I had to turn around and go back. And now look, it's flipping blue sky. So I'm very confused. I'm not sure if there's any trains running. So today hasn't started that well, to be honest. Okay, so the chaos was caused by the fact there's no trains. And okay, 391 bus is beyond capacity. There's about 50 people at the bus stop and no room on the buses. So I'm running out of ideas as how to get to work. Um, I'm going to have to try to get to Richmond to get the main line. You could reasonably ask, do you really want to get to work that much? And the answer is no, <laughs> I don't. But I have a meeting about organisation for the Olivier Awards at midday and I have to send off a video before then. So, there's very few ways of doing those two things that don't involve me being in central London. So this is the third time I've left the flat and tried to get to work today. Let's hope this all works better. I can't a completely new route because still nothing is working around queue. So I'm going to walk to the Mortlake, uh, down the Mortlake Road to Lower Richmond Road and then I'm going to get a bus to Hammersmith. That's the plan. I have done some videos in the meantime, but this is a little bit silly now. So that was the most terrible experience of trying to get into work that I can ever remember. It ended up taking hours and costing me money just to get into central London. Um, not a fun way to spend a Friday, but there we go, you can't win them all. Uh, thank you very much for watching, next week will be better, it'll be more fun, there'll be lots and lots of wedding things and there's lots more of that to come, so beware. Um, but it's all good fun and it looks like the weather is slowly improving. So please subscribe and join me then.